Hi guys, this is Crafty Cat and Smokey the Bird. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with another whip in progress. We are working on this adorable little teddy bear who's camping. Um, let me turn this off so you can see what it looks like. So I've done a lot of this. I've done all the, the white part, like the off-white part, and some of the inside. And I still have to do all of the top, so that's not done. And there's still a lot in the middle that needs to be done. So I thought I'd bring you in and finish off, well, try to finish off this section in the middle here. So let's get to work. So how are you guys today? It is 10.30 p.m. as I'm recording this. And I think today is the 27th of August as I'm recording this. So today is three weeks that I've been out here already at my camp. I can't believe it's been three weeks already. The time goes so fast and I'm just so blessed to be able to come out here. So um, I see some L's that need to be done. So L is number one. So let's do a few L's. It's a pretty color. Still using my pink pen. So this is the fourth diamond painting that I've been working on since I've been out here. I'm really glad I brought a bunch of diamond paintings with me. Um, it really helps to pass the time in the evening. That I don't have any TV out here. Or internet but I do have my my laptop and I'm watching monk I think I'm on season four now so I watched I do that every evening it was a beautiful day today not too hot but not cool it was about 20 degrees bright blue sky lots of Sun uh, hardly any clouds it was just a really pretty day the, the waves on the lake were what my dad always calls leaping and laughing waves, which means it's wavy, but not like huge waves. They're more fun little waves um, that are just tumbling over each other. Not the big, huge crashing waves and not the little ripples either. So it was just nice and they sound nice and the sun was sparkling on them. It was really beautiful. I don't see any more owls. There were just a few. So I took out way more than I needed for that. So I wonder what you guys are all working on. I'm really looking uh, forward when I go home to having internet again so I can catch up on all the videos I've been missing or at least start watching the new ones. I think now we'll do H. H is 18. And there's quite a few H's, so... And that's this color here. Diamond painting is so addicting. So, did I do anything different today? Yes, I did. So today I went for a ride to the stores. There are two stores within pretty close driving distance to my camp. Um, one is about 20 minutes away and the other is 10 more minutes, so 30 minutes away. There are little country stores about the size of a Max Mart. I don't know if you guys have those in your town. And the other one's just more like a little corner store. Both very expensive, um, unfortunately, but I guess you save money from on gas for not having to drive back to town when you use those little stores. So anyway, I ran out of my ranch dressing and I still have a lot of romaine lettuce left because my dad brought me out three heads of lettuce and I had already eaten three heads of lettuce that I brought out with me. So I was all out of my Rene's Greek salad dressing and I was all out of my ranch and all I had left was my uh, Caesar salad dressing and I don't really care for that. I have to be in the mood for Caesar salad dressing, and if I have a Caesar salad, I want it to be a Caesar salad with 
the croutons and, you know, a real Caesar salad. And usually when I make a salad, I just, I throw lettuce and whatever vegetables and fruit I have on hand, nuts if I have them. And that doesn't really taste as good with the uh, Caesar dressing. I like the ranch dressing better or the Renee's Greek dressing. So, and Smokey was out of her Maria cookies. She likes her Maria cookie cookies at night. I only had one more left. And uh, I only had three little dog treats left for Bacardi, the little dog next door who's adopted me. And I had a craving for some ice cream. So I went to the stores and I bought a bunch of stuff. So I bought more milk bone dog treats. And they only had the really big ones. And you should have seen when I got home how happy Bacardi was to see those really big bones. He's so cute. He was spinning in circles and oh, he's just really adorable. And the bird was happy with her cookies. They didn't have Maria cookies. So I got her those Hard cookies that you buy for babies. Um, What are they called? I forget. Like, there's hardly any sugar in them. They're just very plain, bland cookies. She loves those. And they're good for her. Like, they're not as bad for her as a normal cookie because they're so low, low sugar. So I got her those, and she was very happy. And I bought myself some butterscotch ripple ice cream and a Snickers chocolate bar. Along with my uh, salad dressing. I love a Snickers chocolate bar. I have to be in the mood. Sometimes I find them too sweet. Usually I buy a Kit Kat. is normally my go-to chocolate bar. What's your favorite chocolate bar? Sometimes I get in the mood for something sweeter. And if I'm in that mood, I do the Snickers. But yeah, nine times out of ten if I want a chocolate bar, I get a Kit Kat. I do like my Kit Kat chocolate bars. I think in America you call them candy bars, right? You don't even call them chocolate bars. We call them chocolate bars here in Canada. What else? Oh, the other thing is I was, I had a nap this afternoon because I was really tired from all the fresh air and walking and kayaking I've been doing and just, I'm not used to getting all this fresh air. I, well, I do in August of every year. But other than that, no. Like I go for walks and everything, but usually I'm only outside for maybe an hour or two. And out at camp, I'm outside for hours and hours every day. And I'm, it just, like, it makes me sleepy. I don't know why. So I had a little nap for 20 minutes. And when I woke up, I thought I saw smoke across the river. Across, not the river, but the lake. So I got my camera, and I thought, well, my camera has a really good zoom lens, so I'll be able to zoom in, right, and see what the smoke is. But by the time I got down there, the smoke was gone. So I thought, what the heck? Am I, <laughs> did I dream it? Maybe there was no smoke, and I was still sleeping, and I thought it was real, you know. So then I just forgot about it. And then just now I went on Facebook. I I have... um. I only have like three gigabytes of data left, so I'm really trying to save it. So I just hopped onto Facebook just very quickly to see if anyone had sent me any messages or if there was anything like new on the local page for the community out here. And there was a fire. So the uh, fire and rescue went and put it out. A trailer across the lake was on fire. Someone had a work trailer set up. So thank God that the uh, fire and rescue went out there. And put that out because that would have been a terrible, it would have been another forest fire. So I must have seen the fire and then fallen back asleep for a few minutes. And then by the time I went down to go look at it, they had already put it out. And Or maybe I saw all the smoke while they were putting it out and that made the smoke more. I don't know. But it was so weird because when I went down to the bay, no smoke. It was, like, really bizarre that smoke could disappear that fast. So I'm really glad that it wasn't a forest fire and that nobody was hurt and it wasn't somebody's home. So that was good. And someone else posted a picture of it and it was exactly what I had seen.
one of the stores that I went to is right along the river. And it's got such a pretty um, parking lot that goes right beside the river. I took some pictures. If I remember, I'll put the pictures here. It's such a really pretty spot for a store. The river is really beautiful. I'm not on the river. I'm on the, the open lake, which is also very beautiful. But I do like seeing the river, too. It was a gorgeous sunset today, but I saw it while I was in the car driving home. I don't get the sunset over the water where I am. I get the sunrise. And I haven't been waking up lately for it. I thought, you know what? No, I, I need to get... I just want to relax. I, I got a, a lot of pictures of the sunrise. I don't need to get it every single morning. I used to. For a few years, I woke up for sunrise every morning, but it's very cold early in the morning. And sometimes the bugs come out. And uh, tonight, I was down at around sunset, well, after sunset, because I got back just as it was getting dark. And I went down to the water, and all the ducks came, and they were quacking at me, and Bacardi was playing. And it was beautiful, but I got so many bug bites. And I don't know what kind of bugs they were. They weren't mosquitoes. I think maybe black flies or something. I don't know. They were so tiny, I couldn't even see them, but I could feel them biting me. So by the time I walked back up to the camp, and it's not far, it's just like a little hill. It's just a little paving stone hill that my dad made. Um, my I had all big welts on my face, and I have a, a little one on my... Can you see that one? So that see how it swelled up? That's a bug bite right there. Now that isn't very big. Like, it's big for a bug bite, right? But the ones on my face are maybe triple that size, and they're all along my jawbone. So I look really terrible right now. I'm all swollen. But yeah, usually I swell up like, like this when I get a bug bite. So that's not that bad. But I don't know what kind of bugs they were. They were so tiny. And it's a shame because it was a really beautiful evening. I would have liked to have stayed out more. But I guess I can't complain because it's the first night where I've been attacked by bugs. But usually this time of year, the bugs are gone. So I don't know what they were. They were so small, I couldn't see them. The ducks, they come in, they quack at me. That's the same duck family that when I was... Too tired to get out of my kayak after my three-hour kayak ride. And I was just lying on shore in my kayak. And they all surrounded me quacking and peeping. That family came by again tonight. I think people around must feed them. And they were coming and begging for food, maybe. I never feed them. I don't want to give them bread. And I don't have any... The only bird food I have out here is Smokey's bird food. So, um... I guess I could maybe try giving them some lettuce tomorrow. Maybe they would eat some lettuce. I don't know. But they were all around me quacking. It was so cute. So when I went to the store, I was talking to the people there, the two stores. And I thought, wow, I've been on my own for three weeks. I have barely talked to anyone in the three weeks that I've been out here other than like on the phone. My mom's best friend calls me every night to check on me. My mom and dad call once in a while, but not every night. My Uncle Buck, who passed away this summer, he was the one that called me all the time when I was out at the cottage. He, um, he used to call me three times a day to check on me. He called me when he woke up in the morning. And then he called me after supper to see what I ate. And he told me what he ate. And then he called me before bed. I really, really miss my Uncle Buck. And sometimes I forget he's gone. On my way home from the stores today, I passed this, um, someone's house, and it said, fish for sale, $20 for a bag of fish, fresh fish. And I thought, oh, Uncle Buck would love that. I should call him and see if he wants it. And then I went, oh, I just remembered I can't. He's gone. It's so weird. Like, I know he's gone, but sometimes I forget. And I still want to call him. He was such a wonderful uncle. And everybody loved him. He had relationship, like he had like a special relationship with everyone. 
all his nieces and nephews and everyone. Everyone loved him. He called everyone on the phone every day. I'm sure he's happy in heaven, though, reunited with all his brothers that went before him and with his parents and his wife, even his dogs, all his friends. He outlived everybody except for my mom and his daughter, Joni, and his daughter, Jane. But he lost his son last year. He lost his son-in-law last year, his brother, his last brother last year. And my poor mom, she's got none of her brothers left anymore. My dad still has his older sister still alive. My Auntie Erna is 97 years old. She's still doing well, too. And his brother, his older brother, I think is 95. Or no, maybe not that old. I think maybe he's... How old is my dad? My dad's going to be 85 in October. So I think his brother is 87 or 89. Because Auntie Erna was quite a bit older than her brothers. She was the uh, second oldest in the family. There used to be another brother. But he passed away in the war. But I guess the people in my family, some of them live a long time. 97 years old. That's amazing. There was a lady in our old age home who lived to be 115 before she passed away. Can you imagine that? 115 years old? And uh, she never lost her memory or anything. She was on the ball. I can't imagine that. And I wonder how fast time seems to go when you're that age. Because I'm 59 and time just flies for me now. And my Uncle Buck says, wait. He goes, you're young. Just wait till you get older. He said he'd blink and it would be Christmas again. Like a year would go by like it was nothing. My three weeks out at camp just flew by. Just flew. I remember when I was a little girl, an hour seemed to last forever. Like an hour was a long time when I was little. It's so weird how time is. It just seems like all perception. Because when you're little, like if you're five years old, one year is what, like one-fifth of your life? And when you're 59 or 60 years old, one year is just like a tiny, tiny fraction of your life. Just like time seems to go by so fast when you're having a good time, and when you're having a terrible time, it seems to go so slowly. Smokey's not talking tonight. She's listening, though. She's tired. She's probably wondering who I'm talking to. Any more H's? So I've got my beach towel sitting here. So that if I drop any of this, it will land on the towel instead of all over the couch. I find that really helps a lot to always have a towel or a blanket covering everything. Especially if it has a little bit of texture. Not a whole lot of texture, but some texture. Then things don't bounce around and disappear. Any more H's? I don't want to use this one because it's yucky. Let's put that over there. Come on, H. There's one way up there. Above the bare nose. 
Oh, ha, ha. It said ha. Ha, ha. Look. Ha, ha. <laughs> That's funny. Or ha, ha. Depending on your accent. goodness I'm gonna sleep well tonight even though I had a nap I still feel I feel very sleepy I can't believe how beautiful the uh, lake looked today I really love when there's little light waves like not ripples bigger than ripples but smaller than white caps like and then the sun is hitting on them, and it looks like there's millions of diamonds. It's like it's like a diamond painting by itself, and it's just sparkling and lighting up. It's so pretty, and that's how it was today. It's really, really gorgeous. I could sit and look at the water forever. I am just mesmerized by the water. I love it when it's calm. I love it when it's clear. I love it when it's wavy. I just really enjoy it. And the ducks were having fun in the water. I swear they enjoy playing on the waves. And the seagulls were soaring. It was just a really, really beautiful evening. The whole day, the whole day was just gorgeous. You could tell it's almost fall because the sky, like the blue sky, just seems so much more vivid this time of year than it does earlier in the year. It's just a bright, bright, vibrant blue. And today the lake started out really wavy, then it went calm, then it went ripply, then it went what I call, my dad always called leaping and laughing waves. And then it went calm again. It was just, it's always different. And it changes so fast. And then it went so clear that you could see the rocks way far out in the water. I'm just looking for more H's. Oh, there's some. So I called my parents and I told them I got an email saying my prize that I won is supposed to come in on Tuesday. And uh, the Weather Channel says it's going to rain on Tuesday. So I said, you got to look out for my package. Don't let it sit out in the rain because I don't know how well they're going to package it. But I'm getting that expensive paint and I'm getting really expensive watercolor paper and brushes. And if it's raining, I would hate for that watercolor paper to be ruined. I mean, the brushes and the paint set will be fine, but that paper could be ruined if it's not sealed properly. Even if they send it in a cardboard box, if it's not sealed like with plastic, then I don't know how the company is going to send it. But I will do an unboxing when I get home. I'm really looking forward to opening that. I'm so, so excited. Like, this is like paint that I could never afford in real life or nor would I ever buy that because I'm not good enough to, you know, justify spending that much money on paint. And then we'll see what everyone says because all the people on YouTube say buy the most expensive paint that you could afford. Uh, some people say buy the most expensive paper you can afford too. So what I'm getting is both the most expensive paper that I'll and the paint. So I'll see if it makes a difference or if I'm just... Too much of a newbie that it won't. I don't know. You guys see any more H's? Like, I know there's some up here, but it's under the plastic. <sighs> I don't see any. 
And I know it's not the end of the world if I put this away and have to take them out again later. Oh, I'm feeling hot now. I was feeling so cold earlier that my legs were aching from the cold. And it's just all... It's like there's no reality. Because I have hot flashes and now I'm having a hot flash and I felt really hot. And like five minutes ago I was feeling really cold. It's like nothing is real. Do you guys get that? And when does it end? Guys don't get that. Like men, they're, they're lucky. Hmm. How about we do a few S's? S. 15. Green. There's a four up there. Oh, oh, that's stuck. I'm just slamming this against the back of the couch. This um, diamond painting has a really good stick. I'd say out of all the ones I've done so far, this one has the best stick. And this is from New Craft Day and I got it as a PR package. I did two from Timu, and I did one from Amazon, and now this one from New Craft Day. And out of all of them, this one has the best, best stick. I hate when you're trying to put drills down and the stick is not good. It's so hard. My friend Albert sent me pictures of the latest diamond painting he did. He did a real pretty wolf in different blues and grays and silver, like almost silvery and white. Came out really nice. It's like a close-up of the wolf face. And he got it at a store in the mall. I didn't even know there was a store in the mall that sells diamond paintings. I'll have to go check it out when I get home. Although I haven't been in the mall in a very long time. It's funny, I got so many people into diamond painting. My friend Albert, my friend Marnie, I'm not sure if I got her into it or if she got into it at the same time as me. Just, and it just happened that way. But I know I got Albert into it because I, I bought him his first one. Um, my friend Lori, but she only does it in the winter. She's just too busy in the summer. And uh, my friend Marsha started it because of me. And my cousin Michelle and my cousin Kelly. And it's so addictive. <laughs> I don't know where this was supposed to go. Oh, I don't know. I don't think it matters. You see there's a little bug flying around. I hope it's a little moth and not one of those bitey ones. It's almost impossible to keep them out because I, when I go outside to use the outhouse, they see the light and they just rush right in the door while the door's open. And my screen door takes forever to close. It's like a slow closing door, even if I'm trying to pull it really hard. That's how the dog gets in. I have to open the door wide enough for me to get in and out. And by the time it closes, he's already in. Or he just runs between my legs. And then I have to put him out. But you know what? It's been three weeks. And he has not made me sick yet. So that's good. But I only let him in the camp if it's raining. Like, 
I bribe him to go out by giving him a treat, and then he, he knows he has to leave to eat the treat. I gave him a sausage today. He seemed really hungry. He was eating moss. I don't know if it's just a puppy thing or what, but he was eating moss and dirt, and I thought, oh my god, that poor dog. So I, I had those little Johnsonville brat sausages. So I thought, oh well. I mean, that's not exactly great for him either, but it's got to be moss and dirt, right? I sometimes I forget what number I'm doing. 14, 15, S. Okay. I knew I was doing S, but then I suddenly thought, oh gosh, what if I'm not doing S and I'm putting it down on the wrong one? I have the theme song for Monk stuck in my head. The second theme song, not the first one. The one that goes, it's the jungle out there. Bum, 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 bum. Yep. I think my stuff fell out. I'm telling you, this uh, white tap. Does not want to stay in. There's this one here. It doesn't hold this anything. It doesn't hold wax in very good. It doesn't hold glue stick stuff in very good. Like those glue dots. It's really hard to get anything to stay in here. You see any more S's? Yes, there's three right there. There's a lot of confetti in this one, except for the white along the edge. Hey, Smokey. The muzzle, there's so many different colors just around the nose. <sighs> Come on, yes. S, 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 where are you? I don't see any more S. Oh, there, right there. I think my hand sees it. Bef I think, like, subconsciously I must see it. Because sometimes where I'm wondering where they are, I find my pen is right over where they are, but I just, my brain hasn't got up. Uh-oh. I put too much stuff in. It's going along the sides. I got to take some of this off. Hmm, maybe I'm done. Maybe that's it for the S's. What do you think? I don't see any more. I'm just going to put these away. And how about Z? What is Z? Z is number four.
There's some down here. Hey, Smokey the bird. You tired, girl? She's watching me. She's such a good girl. When I had my nap this afternoon, she had a nap too. She didn't keep me awake at all. She's a very much a flock animal. Whatever I do, she wants to do. If I'm eating, she wants to eat. If I'm sleeping, she goes to sleep. And usually if I'm talking, she'll talk. But I guess she's too tired. And then when I'm watching um, Monk, I have to move the TV, like my computer. I have it on a TV stand. And I have to aim it so she could see it too, because she wants to watch too. I feel like there's something stuck on here. There is. There was a dark colored one stuck on the end. Hey, Smokey, you let Mommy have a nap. You went to sleep, too. Such a good girl. Although sometimes she's not good. Sometimes she gets bitey. If I try to give her a treat and she doesn't want the treat, instead of saying no, she'll, and if I try to put it in her cage, she'll try to bite me, so I won't give it to her. Like, she won't bite me hard, but she could if she wanted to, so it's, like, she doesn't break the skin or anything, but it f freaks me out when she does that, because she hardly ever does it. But then she gets, like, in, in this mood where she gets in a bad mood. She normally likes to shred toilet rolls, right? So I saved the toilet rolls and the uh, the rolls out of the paper towels because she likes to shred them. So today I went to go give her one and she didn't want it. So she threw it out of the cage and I just assumed it was an accident. So I put it back in her cage and she went to go bite me. She didn't bite me, but she, she grabbed my finger and she like, she lunged and then she didn't bite, but she went like, and then she touched me, but not hard, but it freaked me out. And then she swore at me, so I got really mad at her. So I said, okay, you're going back to bed until you can be good. So I covered her her cage with her morning blankie for another 10 minutes. I had, she had just gotten up, so maybe she wasn't ready to get up. I don't know. And then I think, well, maybe she's just getting sick of being in her little cage because her home cage is so much bigger. And then I, I have this dilemma because I usually want to let her out so she could spread her wing, her wings. But when she gets bitey, then if she doesn't want to go back in, she'll fight me. So it's like, oh, God. So I didn't let her out today, unfortunately. I thought, I'm not going to take the chance if she's in a bitey mood. She doesn't normally bite me, so I don't want to let her get away with that. I'll try again tomorrow. And I'm also wondering if she did it because the puppy's bitey and the puppy's been gnawing on my hands and she watches because she does imitate stuff. So I guess she's thinking, well, if the puppy can, because I tell the puppy don't bite too, right? So maybe that's why. I don't know. The puppy was only in here for like 10 minutes this morning. He got in when I was on my way out back from the outhouse. He's not a stupid puppy. He knows that I'll bribe him with a treat to go back out. One, two, three... Four, five, six. Ooh. 
not quite on there. You know, I've got this on an angle for the camera. I'm not holding it where I like it. So I, I place a lot better when I'm not recording, unfortunately. I don't, I don't even care anymore. I only really care if I'm giving it away as a gift. If I'm just doing it for fun and relaxation and it's not going up on the wall, then I don't care. I think there's some up here. And there's more right here. Oh, I missed. Any more Zeds? Oh yeah, right here. Oh, I only have one there. Okay, there's one down here. You guys see any more Zeds? Come on, Zed. I've got the You're the Next Contestant on the Prices right in my head because Bob Barker died today. May he rest in peace. He loved animals. I bet you there were a lot of dogs waiting for him at the gates of heaven. That would have been a nice reunion. I do not see any more Zeds. Except for up here. Oh, wait. We're at one right there. Hmm. You see any more Zads? I don't. And let me check the time. Oh, wow. 45 minutes. That's a long time. I'm surprised my phone... Sometimes my phone shuts off after 30 minutes of recording. And sometimes it doesn't, and I have no idea. And it's got, it has nothing to do with how much is on my card, because I always transfer everything on my card to my phone, and then my card is empty again in my phone. I mean, I transfer it to my laptop, is what I was trying to say. All the photos on my phone I transfer to my laptop, and then I wipe it so it's always empty, so that I have room for my videos, right? So I don't know why sometimes it stops and sometimes it doesn't. Let's see how that looks. So I still have a lot more to do. This is going to take me a few more days to finish. It's going to be nice tomorrow, so I won't be diamond painting during the day. I only diamond paint during the day if it's a, a bad weather. Let's turn this back on a little bit. One, two, three. Let's just do one. So anyway, you guys... um. That's it. I think we're done for now. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for keeping me company while I worked. And I hope you got a lot done, whatever you were working on. All right, guys. Take care. Stay safe. Oh, I forgot to say. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. 
hit that like button, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thank you very much for joining me and spending time with me. And now I can say take care and stay safe. Bye, guys. Happy crafting. Bye.